What's up, beatniggers? Welcome back to my channel once again. If you're new here, consider subscribing because I feel that my goal is to bring you the most delicious thinking and enhance your intellect to escape velocity. Let's start today's video. So without wasting even a second, I want to directly get to the point of this video. So this video is only for someone who is looking out for a job, like a complete full-time job here in Germany. And there is an option for you guys to come here on job seekers visa. Now, if you search on internet, you're gonna find a lot of points about what are the criteria, what you should look out for before you come for job seekers visa. I feel, okay, this is very subjective opinion, what I'm putting out. Please do not come here on job seekers visa unless you have a B1 level of German language with you, unless you can afford to stay in this country because six months can be really harsh if you don't find anything then you're gonna it's like putting a, a money into a bank and expecting for a return like a heavy return it's exactly like job seekers is exactly like because you will have to spend on insurance your stay the travel plane tickets yeah other miscellaneous charges here in this country b1 level of language already preset interviews here if not interview then you should know exactly where to go and look out for jobs good financially which is between six to eight lakh rupees sitting in your account to be spent on yourself for next six months what you can expect from today's video is i'm going to be walking you through what are the list of documents you need how to file a application and uh, how to book an appointment for job seekers visa and finally about the payment part. So to begin with, we're gonna start with the checklist. What are the documents, what you need? All in all, you need 10 things, okay? So if you're new someone on my channel, uh, I have a habit of writing everything on a piece of paper and then discussing it with you guys directly. So don't mind, please. All right, so first thing what we need is definitely a passport, very basics, right? Second thing what you need is a copy of passport data. So from front side, back side, very crisp, clear, uh, print out okay third thing what you need is three passport pictures according to biometrics so make sure that you keep that in mind fourth thing what they're looking out for is cover letter a cover letter which speaks for itself something which is more like a strategy that I'm gonna be doing this first and I'm gonna be reaching out to this person etc etc they want to know exactly your plan to reach your end goal which is to find a complete full-time job right fifth part is super important because um they really look out for proof of academic qualification now a lot of you guys may have studied in india or elsewhere in the world but that is not according to german equivalent right so to get that german equivalent try to get that translated into german also your grades converted into gpa which is german uh, standards also one of the things which is super important is Make sure that wherever you have done your bachelor's or master's, verified on anabine.de, which is anabine.de, where you can see that whether is it a qualified university or not. Sixth thing what you need is CV. Simple as straightforward. Seventh thing is accommodation. You have to have accommodation. And when you're filling out an application, which I'm immediately going to show you after this, you need to show them where are you going to stay. Eighth thing you, they want from you is financial means, which is in your bank account at least six to seven or eight lakh rupees sitting. Um, and they have a proper assurance that sure, you're not going to be homeless once you come here. You have enough money to survive. Ninth thing what they're looking out for is called personal status in India. And if you're married, then you have to provide them your marriage certificate, your, your wife's birth certificate and all the necessary document. Tenth thing what they need is health insurance. So before you fly out, you need to buy a travel insurance. Once you're in the country, you need to have a health insurance, whether it can be from public health insurance or private health insurance. So second part of the video, I wanna show you how to file application form. Whatever documents, what I just listed down, you have to take that along with application. There is a job seekers application available. I'm gonna link that in the description. And I'm also gonna show you now that how to fill out what information. All right guys, let's begin with job seekers visa application form. This application form is in two languages. One is in German, one is in English. You can find it's written in German, right below that written in English. So any difficulty in the form, and if you're not sure about certain information, leave it as it is do not fill it wrong 
if you have a confusion, you can get that cleared once you're on the window the day of visa appointment. Let's begin. First things first, on the right corner, you can see it says photo. Now you don't have to paste it here. It clearly says, please do not use glue to attach the photo. Part one, which is right here, information of the applicant. Very straightforward. Go ahead and put your surname. If you have any former names, for example, someone who has got married and now a different name, go ahead and put it here. Make sure that you attach affidavit for that. First name is right here. Uh, date of birth, place of birth, uh, country of birth, and current nationality and former nationality, just in case if you have changed it. Going further down, it says, so go ahead and put your marital status right here, single married, and if you're married since when, and attach your marriage certificate also as a part of proof, male, female, right here. Type of travel visa. I believe that you have passport, go ahead and click right here, and then, Going further down, number of travel document. In this section, go ahead and put your passport number, date of issue, valid until issued by which authority, Mumbai, Pune, Bangalore, Chennai, Kolkata, Jaipur, anywhere, okay? Often thals, this is not for you. Since you're applying for job seekers visa, You, I don't expect that you have a residence permit. Leave this blank leave this blank let's go down further put your current address and your contact details so put it exactly the way it looks in the passport postal code street number for email id make sure that you're putting an email id which you would like embassy or a consulate to communicate with you so it's correct put your mobile phone number now section number two is information on applicant spouse or registered part if you have a partner married go ahead and put all this information surname first name place of birth country of birth date of birth former surname da, 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 something similar what we saw on this section one let's go further down information on the applicant's children if you have a kid make sure that you go ahead and put the surname first name male female date and place of birth nationality and place of residence further down in the fourth section information on the applicant's parent now you have to go ahead and put your parents name father's name mother's name their first name date and place of birth nationality what they hold and the place of residence they have part five says have you ever been to germany before if you are at a stage where you have already worked for like 10 15 years and now you're applying for job seekers visa and during those 10 15 years if you have visited as a business trip to germany make sure that you click yes if no then go ahead and click no and if yes then you have to fill all this information in this section sixth part talks about intended place of stay in germany so where are you going to stay you have to put the address right here with street number and uh, postal code right here how will you be accommodated is that accommodation the address which you're putting is a single room is it an apartment and if it's apartment then how many room apartment or is it a shared apartment then you have to click on collective if if nothing about then click other and then go ahead and mention it here section number seven do you intend to maintain your permanent residency outside of federal republic of germany go ahead and click no for this and if you have valid reason that you know for any any particular reason then go ahead and click yes eight section talks about do family members intend to accompany you initially i believe no but later on once you have a job you would like to i guess so go ahead and click no in this case. Ninth section talks about purpose of stay in Federal Republic of Germany. Now, if you see it carefully, you're not going on employment. You're going there of job seekers visa. And in this section, it's not there. So go ahead and click other, go ahead and write job seekers visa here. And if you've already got an employment, then you go have to click right here. Let's go down in section number 10. It says references in Federal Republic of Germany. So if you know some employer whom you're going to go and give interview physically, you can go ahead and put all this information here. Or any of your friends, somebody whom you know, you can fill this part with that information. 11th section talks about trade or profession for which you trained and if different, your current trade or profession. So if you're a mechanical engineer in, in India and you're coming to Germany for mechanical engineering job, 
or looking out for a mechanical engineering job, go ahead and put that here. Twelfth section talks about intended duration of stay in Germany. In your case, it's a very straightforward. Count your six months and from which month to which month. Thirteenth section talks about what are your means of subsistence. Now, in your case, usually students go on a blocked account. In your case, you have to show bank statement for last six months. The bank account should have at least six to eight lakh rupees for your survival here in this country. Do you have health insurance that covers the Republic, uh, Federal Republic of Germany? Yes, no. So you need to have a travel insurance and once you're in the country, you can go for public insurance, I would recommend, or a private insurance. So I've made a video for insurance that how to get insurance. I'm going to link that in the description. Make sure that you check that out, how to get that. For now, go ahead and click yes in the video which I'm referring to, the insurance one. It will also tell you how to get travel insurance. Fourteenth section talks about have you ever been convicted? No, like right here. Fifteenth section talks about have you ever been expelled or deported from the Federal Republic of Germany, had an application of a residence permit rejected or been refused entry into Republic of Germany. Uh, I hope that your previous application was not rejected and if it was rejected for certain legit reason, make sure that you put that right here. Okay. 16th section talks about do you suffer from any of these diseases mentioned in the footnote 1 and footnote 1 is right here which is smallpox da 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 and all that you can go ahead and read that if no then just straight away no I declare that to the best of my knowledge the above particulars are correct and complete place and date and signature right here this has to be exact signature what is in the passport Fourth part, now I want to show you how to book appointment for job seekers visa. Alright guys, so at this stage, I believe that you have already filed your application uh, for job seekers. Now it's time for a very important thing, which is to book visa appointment. This can get really painful, to be honest. Once you're in this page, scroll down and come here where it says appointments for German national visa. If you see this, there is one embassy and four consulates all over India, Delhi, Kolkata and Mumbai are handled by VFS as a part of appointment for Bangalore and Chennai is handled directly by a consulate. Um, for example, let's go for this one. Once you are on this page, go here for national visa application, click continue. Right here, it very explicitly says job seekers visa, click continue and continue, fill this out and then continue oh this is a huge problem happening right now in india and they are trying to fix this most of the time uh, appointments are not available but yeah in such cases you get in touch with embassy you have to email them whichever email id is available on their website and then they will give you a link where you can actually book appointment before i proceed from here i forgot one point make sure that all your documents are notarized otherwise visa office will not accept that let's go ahead so once you've done with the booking of visa appointment make sure that you take all the list of documents mentioned before application form and dd for 75 euros when you're taking this dd make sure that you have this form two copies of it filled out properly all together and go on the visa day all right guys that's it for the video if you got to know something new or if you're someone who was looking out for this information i would highly recommend you that please go ahead and share it on your social media maybe you never know someone else might be also looking out for something similar what you were looking out for thanks a lot for watching and uh, hit that thumbs up button that's how i get to know that you have watched this video all right take care bye bye